everyone, it's Ali, and welcome to my channel. Today I am bringing you another good old Goodwill haul. And let me tell you, this was a good old Goodwill haul. So I got all this stuff on one of those days that I was like, not planning on going thrifting at all. Didn't even really enter my mind, but I was in the area of my favorite Goodwill, pretty much the one that I get all my Goodwill hauls from. I love it, I can always find stuff, so I just don't really go anywhere else at this point. But I was in that area and it was actually National Secondhand Shopping Day. I can't remember the exact date, but I'll put it up on the screen. You know, just one of those silly holidays that mean nothing, but I thought in the spirit of National Secondhand Shopping Day, let's just pop into Goodwill. I was looking for some fall stuff for myself and I actually did get quite a few items for myself, which you guys would have actually already seen the stuff that I got from this trip for myself if you watched my fall collective thrift haul, which should already be up. But I definitely wasn't really planning on looking for resale, which I always say, but I really was serious this time. I had other stuff to do, but then it started absolutely pouring and it was really empty inside. So I thought, let's just meander around. And you guys, I did not even hit up all the sections. I got so much stuff, my cart was absolutely overflowing. But you guys, this, I say it all the time, but I really think that this was the best thrift haul I've ever gotten from just one store, one experience. This was amazing. Amazing, one, because I got a lot of good brands to resell, but two, I also got some stuff for my husband, which I feel like I can never find. I got that stuff for myself, which you already saw. I got some stuff from my baby niece, for my brother, who is a larger size and is hard to shop for a lot of times, especially at the thrift store. So just all in all, was really good for a lot of reasons, and I'm super excited to share some of the amazing pieces I got for great deals. Okay, I don't know how to start this. I kind of have it all sorted out off camera by category. So first I will show you, I guess, the stuff that I got for my husband. So this is all for him. I really can usually maybe only find like one thing for him, sometimes nothing. The guy section at this Goodwill is usually not very good, but for whatever reason, it was really good this time. So I have to say, um, my husband is colorblind. He pretty much only wears blue. He likes solids. He's not really into patterns. I got a few subtle ones, as you'll see, trying to ease him into it, but that's kind of his vibe. This is 100% his vibe. If I could put it into a category, it is this top. It is a long sleeve quarter zip. It's an Izod Golf. It's a dark blue. Tick, tick, tick for him. He loves golfing. He loves to wear this kind of stuff. This is what he wears all the time, so this was perfect. I then got him this dress shirt. It's a vintage one for sure. It's called the Fox Collection Single Needle Tailoring, tailored in Thailand. So very, very cool. It feels amazing, just a really nice weight shirt. And we have so many weddings to go to this fall, and I thought that this would be a good shirt for him to wear to a wedding or two. Really nice fall colors and goes with his navy suit, so yeah, I was really happy to pick this up. Here's another one that I thought he could wear kind of just casually or for work. It's just a gap button down, but I wish you guys could feel this. It's really a nice thickness. You could almost wear this as like a shacket, but it definitely is kind of more like a casual button down shirt. And there's nothing wrong with it, very lightly worn, but just a good one to have in his wardrobe. This one might actually be a little bit too big for him. This is from Joseph A. Bank. I don't know what year, this might be vintage actually, but it is like a little bit big for him, I think. So I figured he could either wear it oversized like over other stuff in the fall, or he could just wear it on its own, of course. But it's kind of just like a nice pullover. And again, like very much his colors. And then the last thing I got for him, he was like, <laughs> when I pulled it out, but it is this Vineyard Vine shirt. It is the whale shirt. It's 100% cotton, his size, perfect condition. And I was so shocked that this was half off. I just was really surprised that nobody picked this up. Okay, so that was everything I got for my husband. So now I'll just show you, I guess, what I got for other members of my family. Okay, first I'll show you what I got my little niece, Scarlett. So she is going to be two in December, but she already wears a 3T. She's quite tall. The cutest little baby I have ever seen in my life. I know I'm biased, but like for real, she's so cute. So one of the things I got her was this little pair of pants and they're so cute. They have this like floral embroidery detail on both of the legs and I just figured this would be so cute for fall. Oh my gosh, I love it. And this is actually new with tags 
It is from a company called JMP Kids. It actually looks like it might even be vintage. I don't know, some tags just have that like very vintage look, but I was so happy to find this. Also something I thought would be good for fall is this cute little dress. It's so soft, it's really, really cozy. It feels like it's never been worn, like there's not a flaw at all. It doesn't even look like it was washed very many times. This probably was bought for one occasion and worn <laughs> for one occasion and that's it. But this is so cute. This is from Okie Doki. I don't know that brand, but yes, I love this. And the kids section was one of the ones that I just went straight to her size because this is when I still was thinking I wasn't really going to buy that much for resale. But I've definitely learned from you guys to go into the kids section and especially in this area that the Goodwill is in that I like to go to, there does seem to be some good kit stuff that's lightly worn. So I'm for sure gonna start shopping there a lot more. And then the last thing I got for Sweet Little Scarlet is this Disney Mickey Mouse shirt. There are a couple, but this is the one that I like the most, so I got it. It's a really cute, like kind of speckled gray shirt. And there's a Mickey saying hi on the front. And then there's a Mickey saying bye on the back. It's just so cute, I love it. Why can't they make like adult clothes like this? <laughs> as I'm wearing a shirt that says dinosaurs on it. And then I was able to find a couple things for my brother, little Scarlet's dad. I definitely wasn't looking for him necessarily, but I just came across this stuff and I thought I'd pick it up. So this is kind of just like a basic Henley, but it feels super, super comfortable. Really pretty color blue. He looks really good in blue. He and my husband are both pretty dark complexion and have the dark hair. My brother and I have the same parents, so I'm not quite sure what happened. But yeah, he looks a lot more like my husband. <laughs> so yeah, this is just a really nice basic shirt. It is from Mark Anthony, and this really doesn't feel like it was worn hardly at all. And then the other thing that I got for him was just really weird, so I'll tell you in a second. So it is just a long sleeve t-shirt. It says St. Francis University Lacrosse. So this is the college that both me and my brother, who I'm giving this to, the college that we went to. and. It's a pretty small school in Pennsylvania. We live in Columbus, Ohio. I found this in Columbus. And a lot of people that go to this school are from Pennsylvania. Not a lot of people come from this area. So I just had to pick it up. And even though my brother did not play lacrosse, he played football actually, my younger brother does play lacrosse, not at this school, but at another Franciscan school. So my older brother and I went to this school, St. Francis University, and my younger two siblings both go to Franciscan University. They're sister schools. It can get kind of confusing when you talk to people about it. But anyway, I just had to pick this up. I thought my older brother could definitely pull off wearing this to the Franciscan games. Okay, and then I did have to pick up one item for my dad and one item for my mom and they're both kind of silly but i do hope that they wear them honestly so for my dad who always complains that we can never find anything for him i found this awesome shirt uh so yeah there's a big eagle there's a motorcycle and he's not like a motorcycle guy but i still thought that this was pretty cool and then it says american steel on it and then the back is just plain black but I just thought that this was really funny and I hope he wears it. He could wear it to the gym or for 4th of July, Memorial Day, Labor Day, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, of course I had to pick it up. And then for my mom, also kind of silly, but I really like it. So it's one of these like kind of grandma crewnecks, which honestly, these are in style. Like you could sell these for a bit of money. I have sold them before, but this one was really cute, I think, for my mom. So it just says, grandmas do it all. She just has the one granddaughter, Scarlett. It says innkeeper, cheerleader, which she was a cheerleader actually. So, which she doesn't so. <laughs> uh, hugs, cook, she does cook, and gift giver, which she is a very generous gift giver. Thank you, mom. But I really like it. I like like the double collar crew neck. I think it's really cute. And then the back is just plain but I couldn't leave this either. Okay, now let's get into the stuff that I am actually going to resell. And I'm pretty happy about everything I got. So let's get started. You guys let me know what you think, but I think I got a good mix of like unique vintage and just like good modern brands. And definitely make sure you stick to the end because I got more shoes than I normally get and I'm really, really excited about all of them. Some more than others, but all of them. Okay, but anyway, for the clothes, I picked up this Tommy Bahamas quarter zip. This is really, really nice material. I was actually hoping that this would fit my husband because he would have loved this, 
but this is an extra large, just a little bit too big for him. It is the Island Modern Fit. Love it a lot. That's another reason why I like this Goodwill. We know one of the guys that works there and he says like, they really put a lot of pride into putting out good quality clothes. Not necessarily like top brand clothes, but just things that don't have a lot of damage. And of course, every once in a while I come across things that do, but for the most part, everything is in really good condition. I also got this awesome, awesome vintage Wrangler shacket. It is so nice, guys. I wish you could feel. It's a really nice thickness. If this was smaller, I would have kept this for myself because I love, love these colors. Just a really cool find, and I feel like I don't often find things like this. This is a size extra large, and it is like the Wrangler Western shirt series. But uh, this is one of my favorites, I think, that I picked up. I also was really excited to find this, which I might actually keep for myself. I'm not quite sure. I'll probably list it and if it doesn't sell pretty quickly, <laughs> I might keep it or this might just be one of those things that I wear like one time and then have it listed. The beauty of reselling, honestly. But it is this beautiful 100% wool skirt. Skirts don't necessarily do that well for me, but this is like a beautiful fall plaid color. It's in excellent condition. And people really like kind of more of the midi skirts now and this would be midi on a lot of people. This with just an oversized sweater over it is such a pretty fall look and it is in perfect condition. And this was half off too, so that was definitely the deciding factor. And if you're curious, this is from Rena Rowan for Seville. And yeah, like I said, it is 100% pure wool. Another from the guy section. I'm telling you, the guy section was it this time and there were definitely more things I could have picked up. So this is another piece I figured people could wear as a shacket. I'll definitely list it as either a shirt or a jacket. It's quite thick, so that's very nice. And this is kind of like a good, I feel like Thanksgiving shirt or even like Christmas time shirt. Polo Jeans Company, Ralph Lauren. It's a size medium, 100% cotton, and just very, very lightly worn, but there's no stains or flaws or anything like that. Like I said, really nice and thick. Next, I picked up this beautiful little maroon skirt. This is an anthropology skirt. It is the Saturday Sunday brand and it is in a size small. It's got some pockets. I think it's just a really, really cute skirt, but I was really happy to find this and skirts at this Goodwill are only $3, so really not bad at all. Okay, a few more clothing items and then we'll get into the shoes and bags. So here's an awesome pair of vintage shorts. They're coming up really white on camera because of my light, but they're actually more of like a cream color, like a really nicely worn in cream color. And then there's the navy stars. This was in the girls section, but they do kind of look like a guy's fit or they're just like super vintage mom style shorts. Not really sure. Although it does say it's a size 11. So I guess that would be like a junior girls technically. But yeah, definitely vintage, made in the USA and it is from a company called Bebop. Now we've got another anthropology. Oh, you guys, I was happy to find this. I found this like right at the last second, but it is this beautiful, beautiful gray cardigan and cardigans do really well for me. And anthropology cardigans are very nice one because they're just well-made, but they are very popular. They go really fast and they go for a lot of money. So I can't wait to get this listed. Specifically, this is from Angel of the North. It's a size medium, so a great size to sell. And of course, cardigans can fit. I would say like a small or a large could fit into this. But it's just beautiful and there's no holes or anything. Oh, I love it. I could keep that, but I'm not going to. <laughs> and then I picked up this top from BCBG Max Azria, I think is how you say that. It's a size large. This was half off. This is another really expensive brand that you can definitely make a good profit off of. And this I think is perfect for fall as well. You can wear this to work. It's kind of like more fitted at the bottom and then looser on top. Very, very comfortable material, very nice and stretchy. This would be so cute with this skirt actually. I love it. <laughs> and then the last clothing item I got were these vintage jean shorts. I guess these do fit like those other ones. So I guess they are girls, but they look fantastic, really nice worn in light blue. These are vintage Rio by something, Steven something. I don't think there's a size on there, but I'd say probably like a four maybe would fit into these. I'll have to measure. 
but these were just such a beautiful pair of vintage mom jeans. Okay, my camera's blinking at me, so I'm gonna charge it really, really quick, and then it will just be a second for you guys. We'll do the accessories. So first I got this bag and it is one of those, the sack bags. And I have kind of looked at one of these to buy and I thought about keeping this one, but honestly, I just would rather sell it. Like I'm not a huge bag person. I don't need it. I have enough. So I am going to sell this, but I thought that this was pretty cute. It is like very, very lightly worn. It looks really good. And this is a really nice size, I think, to just kind of sling on over your shoulder and take with you wherever. And then the only other bag type thing I got is just this little fossil wristlet. It's in fantastic condition. I actually thought that maybe it had never been used, but I think just very, very lightly. It looks really, really nice. I thought about keeping this for a second too, because fossil, I would say, probably is my favorite like nicer bag brand. I really do like fossil products, but again, just don't really need it. So I'm going to go ahead and sell this. They only charged me $3 for this because they considered it a wallet, which I would also like the wallet pricing instead of the bag pricing. So I should definitely make a decent profit on it. Okay, now for the shoes. So first I got this pair of slides and they are from the brand Comfort View, which I really didn't know too much about, but Pretty much every pair of these Comfort Views that's in this exact same style sold for like $30 to $40. And I got these for half off, so I only paid $2 for them. And they are in absolutely beautiful condition. And I think that this kind of like metallic bronze color is really cool. And they are in a size nine, so really good size to sell. So should definitely make a decent profit off of them. Okay, now just a really quick story. So I go to this Goodwill a lot. Me and my mom go a lot, especially. She wasn't with me on this trip, but anyway. So there's this woman that works there and she always says, I work six days a week. So pretty much every time that we go, she is there. And she knows us, she was chatting with me for a bit on this trip, and she saw me eyeing up all these sneakers. And she comes over and she's like, I just put those out, like snatch them up, get those sneakers. And so there were about six pairs. I ended up only getting three, which part of me is kind of like, oh, maybe I should have just bought all of them. But I did purchase the ones that I think I will get the most money for. So first, we've got these 2013 beautiful Air Jordans. I got these for $10. And this Goodwill does offer different prices. Like as you saw, these shoes were originally $4 and then they were half off. So they mark them all different prices. I don't know if like $10 is their limit because I did get another pair for $10, but this is a really nice pair of shoes. Like they sell some of them for over $200. I don't necessarily expect to get that because they're not brand new like they are are little, little tiny creases, but I am very, very excited to sell these shoes. I spent $133 on everything, but that did include items that you haven't seen and tax and rounding up and all of that. And I definitely hope to profit at least that much off of these shoes. So if these shoes could pay for the whole bag, that's awesome. And if you're curious, these are a size 13. So then another great pair of shoes. These are definitely a lot more worn than the other ones. It looks like maybe the top actually got a little wet perhaps. I'm not quite sure, but a little bit of discoloration. So I'll see how much I can clean these up. But even still, these don't go as much for the Air Jordans, of course. But if I could sell these for like 80 bucks, I'd be really, really happy. And these are a size 11. And if you're curious, they are just from last year. So that helps even more. There's a lot of people that are really, really into sneakers. Of course, a lot of them wait for things that are new in the box or like perfect condition like those Air Jordans. I might get a collector to buy them, but if you ever see one of those like really interesting pairs of shoes, definitely do some research because they can go for a lot from collectors. And then the last pair of sneakers I got is also a little bit worn, but again, I'll do my best to clean them up. They are a little bit discolored since they are white and have been worn, but they are really, really cool. They have a lot of like multicolored uh, smiley faces, and then the bottoms are quite interesting as well. I think these are like the Kyrie something shoes. I don't really know my basketball players too well, but these are also a size 11. 
and they are just from 2019. Kind of like the last ones, I hope to at least get like 80 or $90 out of them. So those are all the sneakers, but I do have one more pair of shoes. And this again, I actually had moved away from the good shoe section, I would say. But this lady came and like ran me down and she's like, hey, I just put out this good pair of shoes. You should pick them up. And they are a pretty good pair of shoes, I would say. They are some bear paw high top boots. They are in beautiful condition. These truly look like They've really never been worn or were taken excellent care of. Look great on the bottom. I did pay $10 for these and they are a woman's size nine. So that's a great size, of course. But yeah, this is the time to list this kind of stuff. So guys, that was my Goodwill haul. Probably the best I think I've ever had. Like I said, I just, I know I say this, a lot, but maybe it's good luck. Maybe every haul just will get better. <laughs> I'm really, really excited to see how these shoes do. Let me know what your favorite item was. What's your favorite brand to pick up at the thrift store? What's your favorite thrift store to go to? I just kind of go to this Goodwill. Everyone has their little honey hole, I think, and I'm good with that. But if you like this video, please make sure to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe. It really helps my channel out a lot and it's completely free. Thanks again for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.